Kim Il-sung and Kim Jong-il built up a large revolutionary force of artists and ushered in the heyday of socialist art and literature. From the early 1960s, Kim Jong-il took charge of art and literature about which Kim Il-sung was concerned. He developed Korean literature and art into revolutionary and militant art and literature which truly served the people. Looking back on those impressive days, Kim Il-sung frequently said, Comrade Kim Jong-il defined the works I created during the anti-Japanese revolution as the prototype, the genesis of our revolutionary drama and opera. He energetically guided their adaptation into films, novels, operas and plays. During this time, revolutionary films, revolutionary novels, sea of blood style operas and shrine style dramas were created and the revolution was carried out in all fields of art and literature. In order to let the popular masses create and enjoy art, Kim Il-sung and Kim Jong-il made sure that modern theaters were built and the artists provided with the best conditions for their creative work. Kim Il-sung pointed out that a man's revolutionary life is inconceivable without revolutionary art and continued. According to my experience, a song is a symbol of victory in the revolution. When songs are loud, a country becomes prosperous. The revolution emerges victorious where songs are loud.